Amidst the ongoing drama brewing behind the scenes at Red Bull, Formula One teams are seizing the opportunity to make game-changing offers. Rumors suggest that Ferrari has recently extended a significant contract offer to Adrian Newey, but they're not alone in the race. Just within the last 24 hours, there's buzz that S. Ramco is eyeing a complete takeover of the Aston Martin Formula One team. If this unfolds, they're reportedly prepared to write a blank check to Max Verstappen and Adrian Newey, sparing no expense to create the ultimate Formula One powerhouse. Will these developments come to fruition? So, let's dive into this video to find out. In a recent advert, Valtteri Bottas discussed his future in Formula One, hinting at another five years in the sport. However, speculation looms regarding his next move, particularly with the possibility of George Russell replacing him at Mercedes. While strong, the partnership with Bottas and Saba is perceived as one of the weakest on the grid. Meanwhile, rumors swirl about Ferrari's lineup, with Carlos Sainz set to return after recovering from his appendix surgery. Additionally, Ferrari is making moves in the paddock, hiring key staff from other teams, including Mercedes, signaling a potential shift in power dynamics. Over the years, Mercedes has seen a significant departure of staff to rival teams like Red Bull and Ferrari. Now, they face a reverse trend as key team members join competitors. Simone Resta and Enrico Sampo are set to leave Ferrari to work alongside James Allison at Mercedes in 2025. While their exact start date remains uncertain due to contractual terms, their expertise promises to bolster Mercedes' efforts in the upcoming seasons. Simone Resta, who has spent nearly 20 years at Ferrari, is set to join Mercedes after a brief stint with H. He's renowned for his engineering prowess, particularly during the competitive seasons of 2017 and 2018. His move to Mercedes reflects a trend of key personnel changes across teams, with Locera heading in the opposite direction. Toto Wolff emphasizes Mercedes' need to reassert their competence in car development amidst Red Bull's ongoing turbulence, aiming to attract top talents like Max Verstappen. Mercedes faces a critical juncture as it seeks to address performance issues highlighted in Jeddah. Despite bringing a floor upgrade for the BCR Pre, its car's performance didn't meet expectations, partly due to cooling problems. The introduction of the upgrade might have inadvertently worsened its performance, prompting a careful reassessment of its engineering approach to avoid similar setbacks in the future. Red Bull's internal struggles Calls for leadership changes at Red Bull persist, with voices like Johnny Herbert suggesting that Helmut Marko step aside for the team's benefit. A recent meeting between Red Bull's CEO Oliver Mina and Ferrari's chairman John Ellen focused on the Concord Agreement's implications, especially regarding revenue distribution with the addition of an 11th team. Speculation abounds about potential moves, including Adrian Newey's rumored interest in joining Ferrari, further adding to Red Bull's challenges. Following Matt Schitz's passing in 2022, a power struggle has emerged within the organization. Yida, previously silent due to contractual obligations, has now asserted his influence by aligning with Ha, sparking internal conflicts. There's a rift between Horner and Marco, with tensions rising over control of the team and strategic decisions. Discussions surrounding a potential partnership with Porsche stirred controversy, with Horner opposing a substantial stake from Porsche. Instead, he favoured Porsche solely as an engine supplier, causing friction with the then Red Bull boss, Manach. However, Manach's passing shifted the balance, preventing Horner's potential dismissal and consolidating his control over the team's direction. Horner's ambitions and alliances. Horner's aspirations for greater control extend beyond team dynamics. Initially seeking shares in Red Bull Racing akin to Toto Wolff's role at Mercedes, Horner now eyes top positions within Ripple Racing. He aims to leverage Yida's influence to secure executive roles within the organization, believing he can revitalize the team independently of star drivers like Verstappen and Newey. However, the significance of these individuals to the team's success cannot be underestimated. Recent developments have raised concerns about Verstappen's future with Red Bull. Discord between Marco and Horner suggests a fractured leadership, prompting Verstappen to consider his options. 
Verstappen's stance is clear. If Marco leaves, he goes too. Additionally, Adrian Newey, famed for his engineering prowess, is attracting offers from various teams, including Ferrari. Talks between Newey and Ferrari are progressing, fulfilling Newey's desire to collaborate with Hamilton or Ferrari before retirement. The plot thickens with reports of a substantial offer from Ferrari reaching Adrian Newey. While Ferrari's proposal holds weight, it may not be the most lucrative option available to Newey. Astonishingly, Aston Martin, closely affiliated with Ferrari, is rumoured to be extending an enticing offer to Newey. However, Newey's decision hinges on financial considerations and the logistical challenges of relocating to Italy, given his familial commitments. Aston Martin emerges as a compelling alternative for Verstappen and Newey amid uncertainties plaguing Red Bull and Mercedes. While Mercedes grapples with performance issues and Hamilton's impending departure, Aston Martin boasts a competitive car, particularly in qualifying. Despite lagging in race performance, the promise of upgrades and a partnership with Honda present intriguing prospects for the team's future competitiveness. Aston Martin's significant investments in their team, including state-of-the-art facilities and top technical talent acquisitions, signal their ambition for success in Formula One. Aston Martin aims to strengthen its competitive edge with a new factory and wind tunnel in place, along with a burgeoning partnership with Honda. The prospect of being the sole team powered by Honda in 2026 presents a compelling opportunity, eliminating concerns about compatibility issues with other power units. Aramco's growing influence and Aramco's partnership with Aston Martin, highlighted by their title sponsorship, underscores their growing involvement in Formula One. As Saudi Arabia's state-owned oil company, Aramco's substantial resources, fueled by the country's public investment fund, position them as formidable players in the sport. The Saudi government's ambitious initiatives, evident in the construction of a new circuit in Jeddah and plans for future expansion, reflect their commitment to bolstering their presence in global sports. Saudi Arabia's deep pockets and expansive investment strategy extend beyond Formula One, encompassing various sectors worldwide. The kingdom's financial might, facilitated by its bottomless reservoir of funds, fuels its interest in acquiring significant stakes in sports ventures. With Formula One emerging as a key focus area, evidenced by the construction of new circuits and high-profile events, Saudi Arabia's influence on the sport is poised to grow substantially. The recent Saudi Arabian Grand Prix provided a platform for discreet discussions and lucrative offers as the kingdom explores avenues for future engagements with key stakeholders in the sport. Red Bull's strategic focus has shifted towards securing its key assets, namely triple world champion Max Verstappen and renowned designer Adrian Newey. This represents a significant shift from their stance just a few months ago. The implementation of the budget cap in Formula One, while aimed at financial restraint, does not apply to critical personnel like Verstappen and Newey, along with the team's owners. This disparity highlights the curious nature of the cost cap, where basic salaries for employees are capped, but top figures can potentially command exorbitant sums. A potential game-changing offer. The looming possibility of Saudi Arabia's involvement adds a new dimension to the equation. If Saudi Arabia acquires Red Bull outright and rebrands it as the Aramco Formula One team, it could significantly shift the sports landscape. With seemingly unlimited financial resources at their disposal, they could offer Verstappen and Newey astronomical salaries, surpassing any offers they may have received from other teams, such as Ferrari. This scenario presents an enticing proposition for both Verstappen and Newey, potentially altering the dynamics of Formula One. Saudi Arabia's deep pockets and ambitious investment strategies give them unparalleled financial leverage in Formula One. With the prospect of becoming the wealthiest team in the sport, they can afford to offer lucrative deals to top talents like Verstappen and Newey. By leveraging their financial muscle, they could entice Verstappen and Newey with unprecedented salary offers, potentially eclipsing any previous offers from competitors. This unprecedented financial clout could reshape the balance of power in Formula One, making Red Bull an irresistible proposition for top talent. 
The emergence of Saudi Arabia as a major player in motorsports mirrors similar trends seen in other sports like golf. Initially dismissed, Saudi Arabia has rapidly become a significant force in attracting top talent through lucrative deals. Fernando Alonso's recent tweet about working with the Aston Martin F1 team underscores this growing trend. It's evident that Saudi Arabia is making significant strides in shaping the future of motorsports. The reported 1 billion euro contract offer for Max Verstappen has sparked considerable discussion. While money isn't everything, such an offer represents a compelling opportunity for Verstappen and other top talents. Beyond financial considerations, the appeal lies in joining a competitive team like Aston Martin, offering a fresh challenge from their current setups. With existing tensions at Red Bull, such offers could tip the scales for Verstappen and others. Examining the last 50 street races reveals Mercedes, Red Bull and Ferrari dominance. Notably, the last victory by a non-major team occurred in 2013 with Lotus. Looking ahead, adjustments to race timings, notably for the upcoming UK Grand Prix, reflect drivers' concerns about visibility. The earlier start times aim to mitigate issues faced in previous races, ensuring safer and more enjoyable racing conditions for all. So what do you think of Verstappen and Newey's mind-blowing contract offer? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos.